What's up? This is my best photos video of 2020. 2020 was the pandemic year and it was a good one for me as far as photography goes despite the craziness um, because I did a lot of learning. So I had an old Canon Rebel T6 and that's what I learned photography on and that's what uh, a lot of the photos of the early part of the year were taken with and then later in the year I um, saved up and bought myself a nicer camera, Canon 80D, which is what I use now. And so the later pictures were taken with that. But I got to try a lot of different types of photography and had fun. So with that, here's my best pictures of the year. This first picture is from a car show. And so every year, um, my friends and I, when I was younger in high school, we kind of made it the tradition that we'd go every January to the car show here in Utah. And so January 18th, I took my camera and snapped photos. I got a lot of good ones that I liked. I had to do a lot of Photoshopping, taking people out of the background, that type of thing. But I wanted to include two of them here that I thought were um, better than the rest. So this first one is a picture of a Shelby Mustang GT that I really liked. I love the red paint on this one and just how clean it looks. And then the background, I actually had to Photoshop. Um, half of it was kind of that blue geometric backdrop you see and the other half was actually just people walking around. So I had to kind of duplicate it and flip it to create that background. But I thought that turned out really cool. Okay, this next one is also from the car show. They had some Alfa Romeos, and so I tried to do kind of some up close macro of some of the detail on the car, but I got this picture of the logo on the front grill, and I just think it looks so cool. I think the colors are cool, and it's also just really like soft, but shows the logo well. Love the detail in this one. Okay, next in February, I was in Provo. It was kind of snowing, wintry weather, but I wanted to get out and get some photos. I was itching to take uh, photos. So I was walking around and in this kind of downtown Provo, they have this Provo City Center Temple, which is this really beautiful building. And I put my camera kind of in a hole in the fence and shot through that to kind of frame that temple and took this picture. So turned out pretty good. My ISO is a little too high, so it's kind of grainy, but I do like that picture a lot. Okay, next in April, with everything being kind of shut down because of the pandemic and not going out much, I still wanted to take photos. So I started to try different ideas and I tried some product photography, which was really fun and I enjoyed it a lot. And so I got my old state ring from when I competitively swam in high school and I put it on my like diploma from high school or at least the case for my diploma which is like gold and, and shimmery and just took some pictures so I uh, stood it up with a little bit of like sticky stuff and got this first picture which I really like. I love just the gold colors in this one, the ring, it's just so fun. It's one of my favorites. Okay, next is another of the ring, but I wanted like a top-down product photography shot with it in the case and everything. So did one of those and I really like how it turned out. Next, I did some macro photography in my backyard as well. 
And so this first photo is just a flower in my backyard. Um, again, because of the pandemic, it was hard to get out. So this was taken in June and it's just an up close shot of the flower. Okay, next in the end of July, I ended up going on a trip to Lake Powell with my um, now wife, but then just a friend, soon to be girlfriend at the time and her family. And it was super fun. It was my first time at Lake Powell. I had never been, but we were driving on the boat and I wanted to get my camera ready and get my settings right. So I just was kind of playing with it and getting it all ready. And then I held it up and just snapped a shot and I love how it turned out. So this is that one. So in this shot, I love the contrast of like the orange and red rock with like the green blue water. And I love how the water is darker in the front and then kind of gets lighter as you go. I just think it turned out really cool for just being a quick kind of almost accidental shot. Okay, later um, in July, July 31st, so the end of the month, went to Antelope Island here in Utah. And it's out on the Great Salt Lake, but has a lot of like salt flats and kind of a fun area to try and take some sunset photos. <laughs> so I just set up my camera and, and did some sunset photos there as I was kind of learning and got this one that I really like. So I like the warm purple oranges, the, just the tones in this one, I think make it pretty cool. Okay, next in August, we went to hike in Salt Lake. There's a hike you can do called Enzyme Peak, which is a hill that kind of goes up and then overlooks like all of Salt Lake City and you can see all the skyscrapers and everything, but they have this fence, kind of wooden fence, <laughs> along the edges and I thought it made a kind of cool foreground with the sun setting and snapped these photos and with a little bit of processing and bringing in the detail I thought they turned out really cool so there's one horizontal and one vertical so here's a horizontal shot okay and then here is the vertical shot and I really like the bush in the front too. I think that provides some detail as well. Okay, my last photos of 2020 that I wanted to include in this video are from the Shorelands Preserve, which is in Layton, Utah. It's kind of like a bird refuge, but they have these really cool wooden walkways you can walk out on the preserve and they have kind of like these pavilions that are built but it's really pretty there's you know kind of like reeds growing and then in the distance you see like the salt lake or the mountains so it's really pretty but i snapped this first one with the pathway kind of leading straight to one of those pavilions I love the leading lines in this, how the pathway leads your eyes right to that pavilion. And then just the detail in the pathway and the plants on the sides of it. I wish um, I had set up my camera a little better because the sky is a little blown out and I think it would have looked better if that detail was there. Okay, and the last photo is just that path at the same place, but without the pavilion, just path, plants on the side, and the sky. Again, the sky's a little blown out, but I thought it turned out okay, so here's that one. Okay, those are my best photos of 2020. Thanks for watching.